तो वेलकम बैक एस्पायरिंग सर्जन्स टू द फिफ्थ इंस्टॉलमेंट ऑफ आवर कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव सीरीज ऑन सर्जिकल सूचिंग टेक्निक्स इन दिस हाईली एंटिसपेटेड एपिसोड वी आर डेल्पिंग इन टू द इंटीग्रेट वर्ल्ड ऑफ एक्स्ट्रा कॉर्पोरल सूचनिंग इन लैब सर्जरी इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टेक योर स्किल्स वन लेवल हायर by exploring the art and science of suturing outside the body during lab procedures and basically we will demonstrate four extra corporeal knots and if you master these four knots and basically three first knots then the your armamentarium will be ready with extra corporeal knotting i hope you have already watched our previous four parts on basic suturing basing and advanced suturing techniques and if not do watch them before joining us here so without any further delay let's get started on fifth part of our basic and advanced suturing technique series link for complete series i'll share in description of this video main indications for extra corporal knotting will be when surgeon is starting his lap journey in the beginning stage and then when there is a limited instrument mobility when you want to basically close the ligature around a structure or there are complex suturing angles like while you are suturing on the abdominal wall the angles are difficult and it also reduces the tissue trauma when you are worried about the knot security then extra coil knotting will add extra security and uh, in case you are having difficulty in intra abdominal manipulation so the first knot that we will discuss will be rodus knot so in all the knots which i have demonstrated in this video series first will be with the rope for easy demonstration then with the with the help of color tapes so that you understand how to take the binds how to take the loops and then will be a some sort of a real time simulation so stay tuned till the end of this video so the structure which we want to tie has been looped around and now you have to mimic and follow these step i mean in letter and spread so uh, on my left side there is a smaller thread end and smaller thread on my left will come above the tail end that is the longer end on the right side held with the help of artery forceps for the easier demonstration and we we will take first half this reef knot and the reef knot is held between the uh, index and thumb finger of the non dominating hand so rodus knot is basically 1 3 so this one knot one half reef knot then three binds around this around these two uh, threads then one lock so lock is again on the longer or the thread on the right side only you have to remember and then you lock it partially so friends don't lock it too much that is the common mistake just uh, lock it uh, loosely and when it starts sliding then you can lock it further and then what impair its mobility and your rodus knot is ready so rodus knot is basically for delicate structure and it was designed for uh, cat cut so like you must have used this loop while doing the append lap appendectomy so so the another part of demonstration for the sake of your understanding i am using these basclo tape one is blue one is red and the longer end the tail end of the suture i am holding with the help of this rt forcer and then as i said the short end the thread on the left side comes over the uh, right side the red structure then half reef knot then it three binds and you must notice that uh, my index and thumb finger of the non dominating hands are not moving and i am uh, basically holding the binds progressively between these two uh, that fingers and uh, uh, thumb otherwise it won't stack properly stacking properly is the key then you apply this lock on the right side suture so there are many techniques friends but you have to follow one technique master one technique and if you are following our channel then this is the best way we can teach you so again i'll demonstrate with the help of this suture also so that you have a real time uh, simulation so uh, i have passed the needle i this is a this is a bicycle uh, i am using here so uh, basically um, we go around the structure which we want to tie and on the tail end we have applied a artery forceps for the 
sake of identification and so that it won't get intermingled also now in a real life scenario one of your assistant has to hold the this uh, exit point of the port with the yellow thumb it will stop the gas from leaking and will also keep the right and left threads uh, separated here my daughter is assist assisting and she is no wise so uh, i mean uh, you have to use one of your assistant thumb for this and you cut the needle end and then again the same step left is shorter end needle end it comes over the longer end on the right side and keep these knots and stacks binds firmly in place so you must notice how i am using my index and thumb finger of the non dominating hand and i'll take these binds one bind two bind and third bind and progressively i am progressing my uh, index and thumb finger to keep these stacks in place and again don't mix it you have to take a knot on the right side thread that is the longer thread and you come below and these stacks properly stack and common mistake will be that you will tighten the this lock too much so just close it uh, enough to uh, keep it and uh, you don't have to basically lease these stocks uh, stacks otherwise the whole knot will get intermingled you can take the help of one of your for assistant and now he is gently locking it and pushing these binds so that there is a proper stacking and then once you start sliding then you can lock it further to make it more uh, basically more secure and cut this tail end roughly keep 1 to 2 cm long and once it starts sliding as i said you can lock it further to make it more secure and you then you can start sliding and then with the help of knot pusher or with the help of open jaws of this maryland force a partially open jaw you can easily slide and it will tighten beautifully so like while doing appendicectomy or you are ligating some structure you try an artery then uh, this will be a helpful uh, maneuver next knot will be melger's knot friend it is also called modified rodder's knot also and it is basically designed for a more slippery structure and monofilament sutures so melger's knot is basically uh, as i said modification and it is also called 232 2 knot basically designed for monofilament sutures like nylon or pds and again the trick is same uh, basically left suture is small the uh, basically the Uh, tail end i have kept as a uh, artery has applied so here i'll take two half rib knots as we take two throws in the suturing so i'll take two half uh, knots this is the first uh, half and then i'll take the second half okay then hold this knot between the thumb and index finger don't let these basically loops get intermingled otherwise knot will get uh, basically will not get tightened properly then you have to stack these binds so two knots two half rib knot three binds and again two basically you have to take two locks and lock is again on the opposite end that is the longer end and don't tighten it again the mantra here will be Uh, keep it loose enough once you start sliding then you can tighten it further otherwise it won't slide then stack the these knots and binds properly like here and then you can start sliding and it will hold a quite a good strength it won't slip back and this is one of my favorite knot while doing the extra cordial knotting and uh, it gives a added security of 
टू थ्री टू नॉट सिमिलरली यू कैन वॉच हेयर इफ द कलर दिस टेप्स इन फास्ट फॉरवर्ड मोड सो फ्रेंड्स देर देर विल बी मैनी वीडियोज अवेलेबल ऑन यूट्यूब बट आई हैव रिसीव मैनी रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम माई स्टूडेंट्स दैट दे वॉन्ट अ गुड बेसिकली कंप्लीट सीरीज ऑन दिस एक्स्ट्रा कवर नॉटिंग सो हेयर इट इज एंड आई होप वी विल बी एबल टू एड सम न्यू एंड साइट एंड द मंत्रा टू दिज नॉट इज टू कीप प्रैक्टिसिंग एंड मेक एट लीस्ट हंड्रेड नॉट्स ईच ऑफ रॉडर्स मेलजर टे साइड एंड टम्बल स्क्वेयर दैन यू विल मास्टर आई मीन यू विल जनरेट योर ओन टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स सो आई हैव टेकन टू हाफ रिप नॉट दैन थ्री बाइंड्स एंड दैन देर विल बी टू लॉक्स सो अगेन यू कैन सी सी दैट विद हेल्प कलर कोडिंग द लॉक इज ऑन द अपोजिट लिम्प दैट इज ऑन द लॉन्गर लिम्प एंड दैन टू लॉक्स डोंट टाइटन इट टू मच एंड दैन वी कैन स्लाइड इट ब्यूटिफुली सो दिस इज द मेलजर नॉट एंड दिस इज आई फाइंड वन ऑफ द मोस्ट सिक्योर नॉट and this is the uh, some sort of real time simulation for you guys so we are using here number 1 nylon as i said melger is more secure and not and basically designed for uh, this uh, monofilament sutures so after encircling the structure which i want to uh, take in the knot i have Uh, taken out the needle and how to take out how to basically pass these needle i'll make short video for you guys so i'm holding the tail end with the help of this rt forcep and i'm requesting my daughter to help me in this video and you have to uh, practice that all the movements are with the help of your this uh, hands and uh, uh, you're not much dependent so again the trick is same Uh, the assistant will keep a thumb on the exit or port that will stop the gas from leaking and or will also uh, basically help to keep the right and left suture separate so 2 32 will be the process and again keep steady left hand will not move all the movements has to be done by the right hand and take three winds stack them properly so stacking properly means that the first bind second bind three bind should come subsequently they should not overlap and keep these binds firmly between your index and thumb finger and then you take a lock don't tighten it too much and then you start sliding and you can tighten it further stack them properly and it will hold beautifully cut the tail end basically this short end to 2 3 cm as desired 2 cm is sufficient in the monoclinic you can keep it up to 3 cm then slide it and your secure tight melger knot is ready friend i'll take a moment here so before we dive deeper into the world of extra corporal knotting uh, i'll demonstrate tay sai knot and the tumble square knot after this so we have a dedicated app available for android and ios uh, to uh, help you uh, learn the basic tricks tricks of the trade in surgery so this app has been designed keeping in mind the interest of junior surgeon trainee somebody who is venturing into the field of surgery many courses are there which are tailor made so all the clutter of youtube the ads are eliminated and like in a gi surgery series we have eight videos so all the videos are available in a sequence wise from 1 to 8 so you don't have to go here and there keep on searching the content just imagine having a comprehensive pocket guide that accompanies you on your surgical endeavors so dr strange mch app is the ultimate companion offering an array of feature that will amplify your learning experience so do download the app so whether you are commuting 
on a break or preparing for a next surgery you can conveniently engage with high quality educational content that has been curated for aspiring surgeons with that one announcement out of the way let's continue our exploration of extra corporate suture knotting next extra corporate knot will be tay side knot so this is again a good addition to your armamentarium that is tay side knot and when you are basically uh bringing together two structures which are far away like two tendons or two ligamentous structures and there is no tissue in between and the tension is high so this is one of the most secure knot that you will encounter so uh i'll demonstrate step by step as in uh, all my previous knot so uh, the basically the tail end we have kept outside with the identified with the help of this rt forcep and the shorter end is on the left side so you have to follow one technique and if you are following uh, us then follow this way only so we have taken half a reef knot then the difference here will be that all the binds are on the longer limb only friends i'll demonstrate with the help of color color coded bascular tapes also and we keep a gap between the half reef knot and the first bind so we take three binds here we can take four also and then we lock it on the this shorter thread between the half reef knot and the first bind so again difference here is in all the knots we have taken binds around the two uh threads but here we have taken binds on the one thread only a longer thread and lock is with the shorter thread and then we lock it and then we start basically moving it and then we lock it further and as i said for tougher structure with a chance of slippage of knot is high this is a uh, this provides extra security and that it won't slip out so watch here again the fact that i wanted to demonstrate will be clear here now so again same step half reef knot and then keep a gap all the binds are on the longer thread so the red thread is the long thread so all the binds are on the long thread we keep a gap between the half reef knot and the first bind then keep your left hand steady don't move it otherwise it won't stack properly then locking is again as i said in all the knots it was on the opposite thread but here locking is on the same thread which is the blue thread or the left sided short thread then we bring the reef knot closer then we keep on tightening as we slide and this will secure the structure beautifully so uh, again in fast forward mode we will demonstrate it with the help of this suture also and we come out so again uh, assistant has to keep a thumb uh, between the two threads and here we are using uh, 3o pds again friends uh, i mean this is a rough guide general guide as you will practice and uh, i hope you will share the picture of your 100 knots with me soon in the uh, basically chat option on the app so uh, i mean then you will generate uh, will you will invent your own base so we take half reef knot then three binds on the longer end and we keep a gap between the uh, reef knot and the first bind then we lock it on the same side and difference here is that we are locking on the same thread that is the shorter thread all the binds are on the single thread then we lock it further then bring the reef knot back then keep tightening and as you slide then you can tighten it further and that will basically create a secure tay side knot and for tougher structures tougher ligament structures uh, this provides security so the next knot will be friends tumble square knot it is both a extra carpal knot and the intracarpal knot so we will demonstrate uh, also in the intracarpal knots friends so this is not very i mean i am not very fond of this knot but for the sake of completion i am sharing sharing this knot with you guys and 
you will definitely require this knot while doing the intracoilar suturing that we will demonstrate in the upcoming series so we have made a secure knot when the half reap knot then reverse and then we tighten it so uh, tumbling is basically to some sort of uh, making it straight or some somersault so now the trick here is after creating a secure knot then you will pull the same long thread so we are pulling the uh, shorter thread is uh, the on the left side with the tail end and we are pulling the longer thread and the knot will get straightened like here and then you can tighten it further and if you want to take additional suture then keep this uh, left hand uh, suture long and it will hold like this beautifully so this is a comparatively simple knot and uh, i mean uh, I, as a sagittani who is benching into the field of laparoscopy you should all uh, be knowing about these knots and this knot will be definitely of a help while doing the intercolor knotting that will be lab suturing so we have taken this half reap knot then we made it square the shorter end will come opposite side over the red thread and then we will tighten it this is a square knot basically surgical square knot and we tighten it then we will now pull on the same long thread so we are pulling the red thread here i hope you can make out this and uh, then we will start sliding and you can tighten it further so again we are demonstrating with the help of this thread as we have done in our all the uh, demonstrations so in a fast forward mode we have created this square knot again all the movements has to be done with this hand or you can take the help of your assistant but the left hand has to keep holding the knots otherwise they will get entangled and bond slide so tighten it then pull the same long thread so the shorter thread is on the left side we are pulling it and the knot will get tumbled get straightened up and then you start can keep sliding and keep tightening and as i said you can keep this uh, left hand suture and bit longer if you want to take additional uh, suture intracorporately and you can then you will slide with the help of a, a knot pusher or with the help of a, a open jaws of the this thing uh, maryland so friends uh, that brings us to the end of this uh, extra corner knotting and i hope we were able to add some new insight to your knowledge and uh, every stitch you make brings you one step closer to the mastery embrace the challenge embrace the journey and become the skilled surgeon you, you aspire to be a quick reminder for you guys do download the app and uh, that is uh, basically a, will be a very good help and a guide for you and uh, so basically uh, i hope you are ready to take your surgical skill to new height and do download our app and uh, embark on a journey of mastery and precision and if you're watching this video on our youtube channel then do like the video and subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any future update till uh, next time happy suturing and stay tuned the best is yet to be thank you very much